right, you want to hop up on the table? So what's going on today? By day, um, Ellen Lauer helps kids feel better. Let's take a lesson here. Working as a pediatrician. Amy Blackstone chairs the sociology department at the University of Maine. Jennifer Eastman is an estate planning and probate attorney. But what brings these three professional women together at night might surprise you. I think that the community is really impressed by the women of Central Maine Derby, and I think that they're surprised when they find out that we come from these very professional backgrounds. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty serious, boring lawyer by day, but I think a lot of my clients are amused when they find out that I can put on a pair of skates and tear up a roller derby track at night. So. Eastman is one of the many derby girls who juggle a demanding career, time with her kids, and her responsibilities as a blocker on the team. She loves the stress release of the sport and that it's a great workout. This is not like the old fashioned roller derby. This is pretty hardcore athletics. Listen on your back here too. While Lauer makes sure to stay clean all day, this doctor gets dirty at night on the track. She goes by the derby name, Pain Bow Bright. I love being part of a team. I love being active and I love hitting people. So it's very, it's very fun. It's a great group of girls, good way to get out some energy that you know you don't get all the time by typing on a computer all day. So. Blackstone is teaching sociology of gender to her students. She thought about using her experience as a roller derby girl for research, but she decided she'd rather keep it separate from work. She got hooked watching the sport a few years ago. There's something really cathartic about this sport. I mean, the, the hitting is certainly a part of it, but just pushing yourself athletically in any way is, is very cathartic and I think there are a few opportunities for women um, who you know aren't professional athletes to do this kind of activity with other women so I'm really you know that was a huge draw to me. Central Maine Derby will be the first local sports team to play at the new arena this month. They were the last to play at the Bangor Auditorium. It's on, it's on. Good luck trying to stop these women, they're on a roll. We have this incredibly diverse group of women who come from all different backgrounds and experiences and all bring their skills um, and we put it all together and made it work. Two, three, Caitlin Burchill, WABI TV5 News.